Well, it's time for our weekly check-in. So, how is everybody? Your hands washed, no touching, everyone good? You haven't tried to poison your spouse or chain your kid to the tub? Good. Then you're winning. True, I set a low bar, but you need low bars, or people like me could never get a drink. I know, you're probably wondering how I'm doing. Thanks. That means a lot. I'm doing great. This was my apartment before the lockdown. And this is my apartment now. Information is like tequila. There's good information, bad information, and then there's the kind that makes you see crazy, crazy things. Our lives are based on the information we receive, which is why you have to be super careful of what you ingest. It's why our media can destroy your liver. While adults are able to see the field and understand that life is a balance of variables, including health, the economy, risk, and benefit, the media, they're not adults. Instead, they're like children who can only focus on one variable at a time. Ice cream for dinner. That's what they want. Ice cream for dinner. Never mind nutrition, dental health, or discipline. Just one variable at a time. So just like children, the media can only handle one variable, too. And it's always how much they detest Trump. I'd say the Idiot of the Week award should go to Mika, except she's just half an idiot. So can she qualify? Let's see. Dr. Fauci wasn't allowed to talk about what he feels is important to say about this drug that the president keeps pushing. A lot of people would say, follow the money. There's got to be some sort of financial tie to someone somewhere that has the president pushing this repeatedly. Yes, Mika, a billionaire world leader would risk his presidency and legacy to make a few hundred dollars off a of stock. There's that low bar again. It seems anyone can be a pundit, even someone who's so stupid the producers had to make Joe Scarborough the smart one. It was either that or the table. But one thing you can predict about the press is that when one dingbat floats an idiotic premise, another dumbbell will copy it. So you see that? Acosta just stole that from the dopey duo, proving stupidity is infectious. So how do you stop it? Well, with the coronavirus, we talk about contact tracing. You identify someone who came into contact with a sick person and trace connections to reduce spread. I'm thinking we need to contact trace dumb ideas in the media before they spread to the general public and infect all of us. Ah, uh, the press. How little they know about stuff and how uninterested they are in remedying that gap. They probably don't even know the price of oil. Where's the price? Give me the price. Uh, I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, how can you ask a question when you don't know the price? I'll look it up for okay, you. Okay, let me do somebody uh, else. Go ahead. I will never get tired of that. I think help spread this virus like China and their PR agency, the WHO. No, the real outrage is how Trump treats the poor, poor media. Remember, when you're given a Don Lemon, you can't even make sense out of it. I swear, I feel like I'm in the movie network. I feel like Howard Beale. Americans are mad as hell. Are you, what are you going to, how much more can Americans take? Every single day berating people, lying. First it's a hoax. And then of all along, I knew it was serious. I knew it was a pandemic. How much more, how many people have to die? Oh my God, get him a fainting couch. Was there anything in there that resembles an actual coherent thought? No, he's just a showboat. And look, when you're channeling Howard Beale, you shouldn't have to tell people you are. It's like saying, hey, people say I'm really smart. Maybe wait for people to say that, not you. But then again, Don would be waiting forever. But in this game, so many anchors would rather show off than show up. These people have been so wrong on everything. Russia, obstruction, collusion, impeachment, the pandemic, yet still think that you should believe them. The same jackasses who say, oh, Trump should have done that sooner, had their head up impeachment's butt while the virus spread. So when this is over, you can bet they will pretend they were there first sounding the alarm, but they weren't. In fact, they were busy calling people racist for sounding the alarm. 
And then they lie that their side didn't dismiss this threat. I have an, an inordinate amount of fear about this situation. For the vast majority of New Yorkers, life is going on pretty normally right now, and we want to encourage that. If you're under 50 and you're healthy, which is most New Yorkers, uh, there's very little threat here. This disease, even if you were to get it, basically acts like a common cold or flu. Man, it's amazing how the media forgets all that. But enough. Let's talk about you. Again, this crisis is revealing who you are and how you help. We stuck together to save lives. This might be the hardest part of this whole process, the temptation to stop because we're almost there. Resist it and keep going because we're almost there. Period.